Hi, I'm Eric. Hi, my name is Jordan Griffin. Hey, I'm Todd. Customers are always asking us to build application performance monitoring tools. For the years we've run TrackJS, we've often wanted to answer a simple question. How are our pages performing for our customers? There's lots of other web performance monitoring services out there. You've probably heard of them, but they're too complex and they're too expensive. So we've decided to build Request Metrics. Request Metrics is going to be different. It's going to be super simple to use and super cheap to get started. We'll make it simple. We'll make it affordable, we'll make it easy to use. There's not going to be a lot of complexity, not a lot of configuration. You've said it and you forget it. We're recording our work building request metrics so that you can see how real software products are built. We're doing that because we wanna take the mystery out of building software. We're all very experienced developers and we wanna bring you along as we build these tools and so you can see that even though we have all of this experience, we still look like idiots most of the time. And you're gonna see us make some mistakes along the way. But you're also going to see real world use cases of technology. You're, this isn't going to be another trivial to do example. We think these videos will provide a unpolished, slightly a kind of classic, but real view of how software is made. Here's how we think we'll build request metrics. We're gonna collect the performance data from browsers using a JavaScript agent. We can get what we need from the web's performance API. We'll send that data to an Nginx service and take the payload and write it to a log. Nginx is real good and real fast at writing logs. We'll have a job that runs every minute reading those logs. We'll aggregate the performance data for each customer's page and API endpoints and store that minute of data. We'll also check to see if there are any alerts we should send. We'll take the data that we collected and store it in Redis. Redis is fast, especially if we pick the right data structures to use. Often thought of as a transient data store, we're going to use Redis as the primary data store for everything to keep it speedy and simple. We'll create additional aggregator services that run periodically, aggregating our minute data into hour and day chunks, as well as looking for longer term alertable actions. To top it off, we'll build a reporting UI on top of Redis to provide the configuration, reporting, and charts that users will expect. We're gonna write everything in .NET Core 3.1 so we get all of the developer benefits of C-sharp while being able to deploy and run our code on Linux. We'll automate the building configuration of our Linux machines using Ansible so that our infrastructure is repeatable and predictable. So follow along with us and subscribe to this channel and you'll see all of the steps and mistakes we take along the way building request metrics.